hello welcome to heartbeat info in today's walk we'll be walking from the Akwakpava road straight to Ovorame street this Ovorame street is between Igun street and Akwakpava Right now, the Overham Street is look, having a new look, so I decided like it would be nice for us to walk from Papava straight to this Overham Street so we can see it. I think the the people in charge just did the road, so it would be nice for us to explore the road and see how everything is going. I want to say a big welcome to you to Heartbeat Info. So it's a pleasure for me to see you here again with me. Really, it's it's really a pleasure if I see you here with me, and it's it's so nice to really have you here. It's so nice for us to just see our city and see how everything is going in Benin. If you notice, it took me a long time before I posted the last time. Why? It was because there was no power in our area for about a week. We had no electricity in our week. So, for for a full week there was no light in the area and it is that that is very traumatic really to speaking it's really traumatic the only time we had light was when uh, you put on your generator and you get to see light if not there was no light in my area and there was nobody to even ask what the problem thought was because we met uh, i think uh, nepa Presently called PHCN, Power Holding Company of Nigeria, made them and the, all the excuse was that the wire cut, the wire drained, the wire this, the wire that. There was no concrete evidence to tell us what happened to our light. So for a full for a full week, we didn't have one single light. Right now, we are looking at the Central Bank of Nigeria located in Akwapava. In front of that central bank of Nigeria, no stopping. It's even written there. That's why I'm not passing that place right now. That place, there is no stopping. If once you get to that central bank, once you pass the UBA bank, straight walking, nobody stops, nobody stops to pick up or discharge passenger there. <laughs> you in trouble. So that's why you can see most people taking this this side of the road. So we didn't have light for a week. Posting this video sometimes takes about two hours or three hours to, to post it because these videos are very long and the quality is high. So before I'll put it on the computer to post it, it 
takes a lot of time, like a really lot of time. So that's why I've not really posted. So there's no way I can I could have posted any video that would take two hours or three hours to post. So the the, light, the power was restored this week, thank God that it was restored. So we can really see how nice and beautiful this road is. Most time, the the business that we really strive on this road is electrical businesses. So if you are if you are in Benin and you want to buy electrical materials for your houses, you can get them in this environment. Most time. Coming to this place, you get cheaper electrical installations and equipment here. And also walking on walking on this road, you get to see the park that goes to Agro Park to Aduawa. So if you want to go to Agro Park from this Aduawa side, you come to this place. Sometimes pronouncing these names really is really hard. Agbapawa. <laughs> so this is the bus. This bus goes to Agbo Park, to the Ramat Park area. So if you are going to Ramat or you are going to Agbo Park, this is the place you come to to get your buses going to that environment. So you can see that this Akwapawa road has underground drainage. So you can see they have underground drainage. That's why you cannot really see any gutter in this road. But if it rains, most time you don't really see water on the road. But hopefully when it's rainy season, we'll be walking on this road and seeing if really these underground gutters, I don't know if it's underground gutters, but most time you don't really see the gutters, you just see the iron pavement there. So if it's so it's underground. So hopefully when the rain starts, we'll walk on this street and see if the roads are get is more better than last time. And this underground drainage, if this if they really work. Right now, aside my 
aside the neighbor issue that my area have been experiencing uh, my boss just informed, informed us that he will be leaving Benin very soon so he will be leaving Benin this month ending so immediately he leaves he's going with his business and everything so that means I'm not, I'm not jobless <laughs> <laughs> so right now that means this month and it will be my last month working with him it was really a very nice experience now we can see Ui Technical Limited Ui Technical they are involved in the sales of generators and other things but in this power road you get them selling electro more of electronics so if you want to buy if you want to patronize Ui Technical the generator issue you go to the mission road but on the appliances they have that big beauty here at Akpapaba Road so this will be the last month of me working with my boss and it was a nice experience so we are looking forward to how this year will look like and next month so because of that Next month, I'll be hopefully I'll be doing more works next month. So just concentrate on this YouTube stuff, and I luckily for me, I made fifty dollars. I've made fifty dollars from this YouTube work. I know it's very small, but I I think it's okay at least at least something good comes out from, from this work although i have not been able to claim the money so i was told that it must meet the hundred dollars mark before i can claim the money and that is about i think that is about twenty thousand naira or eighteen thousand naira <laughs> at least it's okay it's okay so what we are seeing right now is the Holy Arusa Cathedral. So you can see this Holy Arusa Cathedral, how magnificent and beautiful it is. The Holy Arusa Cathedral was founded in the 15th, in the 15th century by Oba Esike. And the Portuguese missionaries that came to Benin in the 15th century. This Holy Arusa Cathedral can also be called the Oba of Benin Church because most time when the Oba of Benin wants to do his Thanksgiving, this is the church that it comes to. So you can really see how fine this Holy Arusa Cathedral is. I would have loved to enter inside the Holy, Holy Arusa Cathedral, but I have no idea if there is any rules or anything because I've never entered into the Holy Arusa Cathedral. But from outside and from watching ITV news, uh, really the place really looks nice inside the cathedral. Hopefully, very soon I will be entering into the Holy Cross, Holy Arusa Cathedral, and just have a look. So most time the businesses that really strive in this place you can see electrical businesses, electrical appliances, wiring, these 80 materials, you can really find them in this aqua power.
so i want to say a big thank you for you guys for always coming here to watch these videos it's really really nice and i want to say a big thank you and for the love of the city that's why we are here because of how much we really appreciate the the city and how much we want it to really really develop hopefully the state will be getting better more so as we now we can see these street vendors that's called mama put but we don't really call them mama put in uh, Benin. what we really call them is buka so, I'm a big fan of Buka. I, I, I eat most of my food in Buka. <laughs> anyway, I go in Bini, I always, I always eat from the Buka. And so my friend tell me, say, we cannot go chop for me one day. <laughs> but I, I know that any food that you buy with your own money, Never, no go fit give you wish, never. I first seen that you buy the food with your money, the food don't give you wish. Because I've really eaten, I've really eaten the bookers in the city. So, right, right, so, I, so, and I never fly. So, <laughs> I first say I never the fly because of say I go buy food. I'm not about to fly, Jesus. <laughs> but really, it's, it's really nice patronizing this women. Very soon now, I, I think I will start these streets to intervene or, or, or buying things from these streets vendors so that we can really see the prices of things happening in Bini City. very soon so I want to say if you have any suggestions for this channel you, you need to see more streets you need to see more activities anything you love to see please don't forget to write it So anything you love to see, any street, any thing you love to see, please don't forget to write it on the comment and I'll be there looking at the comment and hopefully, hopefully my God's grace just look at the place and so we can see that in this place we have so many people selling electrical electronics electrical equipment electrical poles and you can even see this building selling electric bulbs and equipment so you can see last tech international that these people most time we get to see electronics electrical equipment in this power road so hopefully this I was told that until the money gets to hundred dollars before I can really claim it hopefully I Hopefully, I will be able to claim it maybe in February next month. Yeah. 
It's so nice that I can show, I can really show this environment and also be able to make a little money from it. It's, it's nice. So you can see this shop now, Pep Shop. So I want to say, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to hit the like button just to encourage me. Please see the like button. When you, whenever you hit the like button, it it makes the channel to increase and just help the channel. So although it's just a small thing, just hit the like button. It means so much to me. Thank you very much. So you can see, you keep on seeing electrical equipment in this environment. So if you have any streets that you love to see, please do not forget to just write it in the comment. I'll I'll just take heart, take put it in my heart, and hopefully when there is when I have the chance. And right now, since my my, my boss is traveling, is is leaving the state, so right now since I don't have a job right now, so at least I'll be, I'll have more time, uh, more opportunity to really work because when I was working, it was. It was really hectic to after work or having duty to just work. But this work normally takes about two hours because I'll maybe before going to the place. Like before going to the to the location of start point and ending and going back home with a bus or a cab, the go slow and everything takes. Let me say, sometimes everything combines end up to two and a half hours doing this video and going home to edit it. So it takes just two and two like sometimes two and a half hours, sometimes three, sometimes one and a half, depends on the location. So right now since my boss will be traveling and right now there will be no job. <laughs> so at least I will have more time to really be able to do this work. I'll be having more time to do this work. Even though the 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 revenue from doing this work is very low, but really, I really appreciate it, and I, and I think it's a very nice thing to be able to show this city, to show our city this great mini city, and also make a little bit of change along with it. It's, it's nice. Right now, we're getting to Agbato Market. If you can recall, we, uh, we have walked this about the market, I think, two to three months ago. So, maybe next month, hopefully next month, we'll be walking in this Agbado market again. And seeing what has really, if anything, has really changed inside the market. Because last time I visited this Agbado market, the place was really calm, really, it was... And if you can recall, Agbado Market is one of the oldest markets in Benin City. One of the oldest. If you're in Benin and you want to really experience calmness, the, the calm market, the market that is filled with. I just can't really explain that Agbado Market. Not really experienced. So right now, what we're looking at right now is Cook Road. So if you want to get ties, this is Cook Road. So 
if you want to really experience the nice the, the nice scenes inside the market the nice the calm the calm environment you come to this Agbado market inside is so calm cool and relaxed really. so very soon hopefully next month we'll be going back to this Agbado market and looking just take a look at this Agbado market So when I started this work, my first work I did was Ibu Street, just for about five minutes or four minutes. I can't really recall how long it was because I went to the market that day. I just let me just video this place, and it was it was okay. Then later, when I started videoing other streets. I feel very tiring, frankly speaking, because I get home, I'm so tired, I go to work, I'm tired at work, but I kept on doing this work. Right now, I discovered one thing now. The more work I do right now, the less tiring it is. Now I can work for about one hour, one and a half hour, up to two hours. Really, there will be no sign of being tired. Right now, no matter the distance I walk now, I do not really feel it. Before when I started this walk, after getting home, I sleep and just sleep and eat and sleep. I was tired. But right now, I've discovered that because I've been doing this work for, I think, two months now, just, I think, two to three months now. Right now, no matter how, how long I walk, I never, I do not really see the distance as anything again. So right now, the road we are seeing right now is called James Watt Road. It's where you get your tires, your car batteries, your car headsets, your rim. And you want to buy your rims, your car rim, you get it in that Jeep Swat. So, the more I walk right now, the less tiring it is. Right now, I do not really feel tired again. And most people that see me right now, they always tell me right now that I look more better and fitter. Like, I look more of like an athlete. <laughs> it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be complimented like that. Now people see me and are like, ah, you are, you are really, really, you are, you are looking really nice. Now no more body belly again. The the belly don't enter his head. Now it's it's really okay. So my advice to everyone is this: please, if you are fortunate to walk. If you are pursuing to walk a distance, let me say 30 minutes every day or 30 minutes, just try your best to just just try your best to walk. It will really, really be really be nice. So we can look at we can see the Shomele bus. This bus is really a lifesaver, frankly speaking. It helps if you are coming from a long distance, the the fees. It's really cheap. 
Sorry, not the Shumile boss. They call it Comrade Boss. <laughs> Comrade Boss. See an, another spot to eat. Practically speaking, seeing this street food really—it's really nice seeing this street food because some like someone like me to cook in the house is really really hard. Practically speaking, it's hard. So these women that sell that do street food, they, they are really life savers. They are really life savers. And many people do not really know how to really buy this food, the prices and everything. So hopefully from next maybe from next month or two we'll start maybe doing their work, start buying food from these women and just see how much the price really is. At least sometimes a good person just the portioners of these women. <laughs> Right now you can see this woman selling those masks. So if you are going to, maybe you are going to the bank now most time because right now many people do not really wear their mask on the streets. If you have noticed, since you have been passing people on the street, people you can see people are not really put putting on their nose mask on the street right now. Only maybe like three weeks ago when the Amatan was really hot and that's where you see people pushing on this nose mask. I see this woman is selling nose mask. So if you are close to the bank, that's where you can get nose mask. Because even if uh, people are not really putting on their face mask, on the streets but in government offices in, in banks you must put on your face mask so these women what they do is this they just come to where to any any government office or or bank and they stand outside so they stand outside and say their nose mask Nose mask sells for 100 naira here. Yeah. Any type, any one you are buying is 100 naira. That paper cloth owns 100. The one that people sew and they just put this rubber on it, that one also sells for 100 naira. But I, I think the, the, the paper one, the one that the one that was the official one that blue color one i think that one is even more better and hygienic because you use that one once and you straight away but <laughs> in this side what people do is this they buy that cloth on and because of i think because of the financial situation of many people and really it's more convenient you hang it in your car and if you want to enter into any establishment, you just remove it and wear it. You just remove it and wear it. So that one is more popular in this environment because you can wash it and wear it again before it goes off. You can see this woman also selling her own nose mask here because before you entered an MTN office, because right now you can see people gathered here these are people that want to register for sim card they have sim card issue like uh, this uh, what do you call this uh, 
NIN, link your NIN to line and people that have a SIM card error, lack of network, any SIM card issue, they, they go to that empty office and to now they provided the canopy outside so that people can be there. To be outside, they, they accept just few people. They say because of this coronavirus issue, so few people have been accepted into the banking hall, and you must put it on your face mask. So right now we are at Downsing Road Junction. So you can really see how busy that Dancy Road Joshua is. Right now we are looking at God is Good Motors. God is Good Motors. In my opinion, in my own personal opinion, and after all evaluation, it's one of the best motor companies in Bini City. Most times, because it's good motors, they are, the routes they normally take is from Benin to Lagos and Benin to Abuja. The reason why I really love this God is Good Motors is that they always keep to time. If you are going to Abuja or Lagos, maybe you have, because I've experienced it before, maybe when I had one job interview in Lagos and I had to move early morning exactly 7 o'clock from this place because there was no way I, I could leave my house very too early so I, I, need to, I just want I wasn't want to leave Benin exactly 7 o'clock if you come to this God is good motors, if they tell you the bus is going from 7.15 definitely the bus is leaving by 7.15 no waiting, no, they don't wait till the bus is filled up before they move. Exactly 7 15, they move. So, because if you book your 9 a.m. car, definitely you are moving by 9 a.m. So, and most of their buses are new, they are new. So, if you are in Benin and you want to go to Lagos on time, promptly. Just go to God is Good Motors. They keep the time.
I think one thing in Benin that really need to really need to be improved is this zebra crossing. Frankly speaking, zebra crossing need to be on this road so that motorists can at least give room for part for people using the, the, their legs to move, at least give them chance to cross the road. Because nobody gives you chance. And it's so annoying like the bus drivers don't want if you are coming they don't be care. So you have to be careful when crossing these roads. And there's no overhead bridge. So you can imagine. Very very risky. So right now the street we are on right now is called Ovorame Street. So you can see that this street was done by the Edo State Government under the C4 project. You can see how this street looks. This street is one old street. It this street is located between the Apopaba Road and the Igun Street. can see that most houses in this street are old houses. So because this street is not really that popular, so you get people parking on the side of this street because parking on Akokova Road and that is a good street can get your motor your vehicle towed so most people just prefer to just park along this adjoining street so i want to say a big thank you for staying here with heartbeat info and say a big thank you and please do not forget to hit the like button
Thank you. 